Many people have asked for a brief introduction to Ashtanga Yoga, a practice that they could do in 15 minutes, say 20 minutes, that would give them some health benefits. So today what we're going to endeavor to do here is do an entry-level beginner Ashtanga-based practice that gives us full functioning of the spine that will help us maintain our spinal health as we age, that will help us create a little bit of positivity in the mind and the body and give us a nice chance to work towards a, a better physical body, a better uh, presence of mind and generally create an, an atmosphere where we can create an abundance of spirit. And uh, you know, before I say anything else, it's always important to have a teacher. This is like the, the most important thing in the Ashtanga tradition. So without, without Sri K. Patabi Joyce, Sri Opi Tawari, Sri um, Sharat Joyce, um, especially Sharatji right now, there, there's no practice for me. So I'm so happy that uh, I can give you a, my version, uh, my slightly modified version of, of the best points they've given me. So that's, that's sort of where I'm coming at with this, this practice and this uh, um, little video that we're doing. And thanks, Nick, for your time. So I want to start. Most of us today, we're in a we're in a situation where we're texting, we're computing, and this starts to happen as we age. We get this kyphotic back. We start to get this dished out core. And so right from the start, we have a great posture called samastitihi, where we lift tall through the spine. We press down equally through the feet. We engage the muscles of the legs. We try to grow an inch to the crown of the head. Watch the tendency to lift up through the crown of the head and let your shoulders get involved. This is not what we want. Soften the shoulders down, soften the effort, but lift through the crown of the head, lift through the spine. From here, we engage the breath and we make some sound with the breath, enough that we can start to recognize the inhale and the exhale as a vital part of our life. And then from there, we just start to move and we add movements to posture and we synchronize them together. And this is one of the basis or the basic foundations of Ashtanga Yoga. So this is the important starting spot. We'll give you a picture of our teacher, Sri K. Patabi Joyce. He stands in Samastitihi. We'll show it. It's wonderful posture. And just this alone, pressing down through the feet, I'm starting to, to develop heat. And this alone as a practice, lifting my heart, lifting the crown of my head, strengthens my legs, lifts me into my core in a new way, and then helps me develop a clarity and a focus and sama, the sense of equanimity. And from here, we're just gonna add a simple movement. Turn your palms forward. Then inhale your hands up. Press down through your feet as you do. Stretch through your fingertips. Look up. And then exhale. Bring your hands right back down. It's enough. Lift tall. Find Sama. This Sama Stitihi standing firm in this quality of strength and equanimity. And then we do the same thing again. We inhale. Lift the hands up. Inhale, inhale nicely. Look to your thumb tips and exhale. Bring the hands right back down. Find samastitihi. Settle your mind. For many who are working through physical ailments, this kind of movement is just wonderful. Lift the shoulders back a little. Lift the heart. Inhale, the hands come up. Look to your fingertips and exhale. Come back down. But let's move forward. If you have back pain or back injury. We want to make the movement smooth. We want to find a way to be able to still move even though we're having or experiencing some difficulties in the body. So I'm going to show you a modification of the first sun salutation, Siri Namaskara A. And from there what we'll do is we'll, I'll take you through it. I'm going to walk you through it. I'll walk with you the whole way through this trip. And we're, and we're just going to work our way through a series of postures 
There's no jumping back. There's lots of that on the internet. You can find that anywhere, but not with me. You're gonna just find this nice, smooth, flowing movement with the breath, okay? So we start again. Find Samastitihi, press down through the feet. Widen your toes, lift through the crown of the head. And then we inhale, lift the hands up very smoothly. Look to your fingertips. From here, exhale, we're gonna fold forward and reach for the floor. But if you have back pain, bend your knees, stick your bum out a little bit, take your ribs towards your quads and reach down. Let your head hang for a moment. Then inhale, lengthen, look up as best you can. From here, exhale, we're just gonna work our way back to a hands and knees position. And let's pause here for a second. Just get your bearings, get your breath. Then we inhale, we're gonna arch the back and look up. Exhale, we're gonna round the spine. Let's just do that one more time. Inhale, we arch the back, look up. Exhale, we'll round the spine. And then you can work your way back to a child's pose where you just take yourself down. If you have knee problems here, just let yourself come back a little bit. Let your butt stick out slightly and just soften here. Let your head hang and breathe. And we'll take five breaths. The other option is to push through the toes, lift into what we call downward dog, move your feet in a little bit, and breathe. The knees can be bent, it doesn't matter. But keep your breath smooth and strong. Let your head hang. Try to get length in the spine and breathe. And we keep the breath smooth and we keep the breath full and we try not to hold the breath in the practice. From here, we have to get forward again. So you can come back to your hands and knees you can work your legs forward in whatever manner works for you. You can step it forward in whatever manner works for you. But here we're gonna inhale, try to find some length. Again, my ribs are working towards my quads. Then we exhale. Then we're gonna power through the feet. Inhale, stand ourselves up. Stretch tall through the fingertips. And exhale, bring our hands down to the side. And we lift tall through the crown of the head. Now let's just flow a little more with that. So we're gonna inhale the hands up, palms together, look to your thumb tips. Exhale, we'll fold forward, bend your knees a little, don't worry about the hamstrings. Let the head hang. Inhale, lengthen your spine as best you can. Exhale, work your way back to that hands and knees position nicely. This is nice if you have wrist discomfort, you can take the weight off the wrists. Inhale here, arch the back, look up. Exhale, round the spine. Push through the toes. Step in, breathe here. If it's too much on the wrists or the shoulders, we come down, soften in, breathe. Find five nice long breaths in whatever manner works for you. Let the head hang and be heavy. Eventually, the gaze towards the navel or up through the inner leg and breathe. From here, we're just gonna step or walk forward. It doesn't matter how we do it. Get your feet as close to the hands as you can. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round the head towards the knees. Now press through the feet, widen your toes, get strong. Inhale, stand up, stand up, press through the legs, extend through your fingertips. And exhale, the hands back down to the side and breathe. Already we're in the tropics, I'm starting to develop a little heat. I can feel the sweat and there's no jump back, there's no jump through, nothing going on like this yet, but nonetheless, when we work with the breath strongly, when we really try to lift from the core, when we really try to grow some openness through the heart, which is what most of us need to do these days, when we try to gain our full height, stand as tall as we can, being on our center, 
These are the things that will really add some value off the mat. They're the things that will add value in our lives. Even if we just try to do this, you stand up out of your desk chair once or twice a day, lift, find this lift, press down through the feet. These are gonna be some things that will add value immediately. So let's do one more. And then we're gonna, then we're gonna move on, do a few other postures today, just to get some movements in the spine and then we'll close it down and we'll, we'll come back at another moment and, and check in. So I find samastitihi, this sense of equality, equanimity. We stand firm in that and I exhale. From here, inhale the hands up, stretch tall through the fingertips, look to your thumb. Exhale, bending my knees, working my chest towards my quads, I roll forward into a forward bend. Inhale, I lengthen my spine, I look up as best I can. Exhale, I work it back to that hands and knees position. Less pressure on my wrists, no worry about a push up at the moment. Inhale, arch the back. Exhale, I round the spine. Lift up to that down dog, or I could repeat that arch once or twice more, and I breathe. Five breaths here, one. Two, three, four, and five. And I work my way forward. I could lightly step up. I could jump eventually maybe. But I'm going to inhale, finding some length in my spine, exhale, round my head towards my knees. And then I'm going to press through the feet. I'm going to inhale, stand up, stretch tall through my fingertips, and exhale, my hands back down to the side. This is what we call Surya Namaskara B, the sun salutation, the first one. It's highly adapted. It's highly modified. But remember, Modifications are simply progression to the full posture. So there's no reason not to practice. It's just simply a matter of getting ourselves into a flow with the breath at no matter what stage we are in our body. Maybe we're postpartum from a pregnancy. That would be a little hard for me, but whatever. Maybe I've got some back injuries, maybe some knee injuries. None of this can be a reason or excuse not to practice. Maybe I don't have a mat. Well, purposefully, Nick and I set me up on the concrete floor in India where generally things aren't that clean. It's okay. You can still practice. So this is what to me is more important. Find a place that you can practice. Find a time you can practice. Seriously, you'll be able to do it. Just get on your mat, stand tall, and start to breathe. Okay? And from here, we'll do two of the next sun salutations. A little bit more involved, but not a big deal. Let's just move with it and see how we go. I find samastitihi. Now I'm going to bend my knees. As I do that, I'm going to inhale my hands up. Look to my thumb tips. Exhale, I'm going to fold forward again. My knees can stay bent as I reach towards the floor. Inhale from here, I lengthen my spine. I look up. And then I'm going to exhale back to this hands and knees position. Now, if you're starting to find this very easy, you can look forward and exhale down into a half push-up. From here, you could start to roll your shoulders back into a nice arch, being mindful of your spine, not putting pressure in your lower back. And exhale, work your way back to the down dog. Now, here's the next tricky part. We're going to step forward with our right foot so you can plant that back foot. Work your foot forward. It doesn't matter how it gets there. But plant your feet. Get steady. Make sure you're not going to topple over. And then inhale. Smoothly bring your hands up. Reach through your fingertips. Look to your thumbs and exhale. We're going to immediately come back down. Wow, it's hot here. We're going to start to feel the breath flow. I step back to the hands and knees. Inhale, I arch my back. Exhale, I round my spine. We want to get balanced. We're going to balance this out. Step forward with your left foot. We plant. And then I find a nice inhale, reaching tall through my fingertips. 
and I exhale, come back. If you need extra breaths, no problem, pause. Take an extra breath. Oh, I gotta catch my breath, I step back. Hands and knees, inhale, I arch. Exhale, I round. And then I can find a downward dog or a child's pose. I find a posture I can be in for five breaths. Two, three, four, five. I gotta work my way forward. Plant my toes, lift up a little bit. Get my feet up in between my hands, doesn't matter how. Feet together. Inhale, find some length. Exhale, round my head. Press strongly through my feet. Grow the roots into the ground. Float the hands up, inhale. Tall, bend my knees. And exhale, stand tall. And one more time, let's just flow a little more. I inhale. Exhale, fold forward. You don't need to go faster, but you may. Inhale, find your length. Exhale, back to the hands and knees. Inhale, arch the back, or you can do the push-up. Exhale, round the spine. Push up into my down dog, and then I step forward with my right foot. Inhale, I come up. Exhale, I work my way back down. If you need extra breaths, take them, but try to exhale to your hands and knees. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Lift it up. And now the left foot comes forward. I step. Inhale, I work myself up. Extend through my fingertips. Exhale, I come back down. Step back to the hands and knees. If this is lots, you can find a new position here. Press if you want more work. This can be the push-up part you use today. If that's too much, knees can go down. This can be it today. If that's too much, the hands and knees are perfect. Exactly as they are. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. And breathe. Five breaths here. One. Two. Three. Let your head hang. I'm interested in the ant that's by me. Four. And five. Step it forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees and inhale, bring the hands up. Palms together. Exhale, stand tall. Samastitihi. First standing posture. So these are the sun salutations in a very modified version, I admit. Highly modified, but that's okay. Remember, a modification is only something that's gonna take us closer to the full posture over time. Don't worry about the rest of it. It's not necessary to float. It's not necessary to do handstands. It's not necessary to do backflips. I guess if you're with the circus. But here, not so much. I want you to move. I want you to move your spine. Now there's two forward bends that we normally do that I'm going to, that I am going to omit right now today. And then we're going to start by doing the triangle posture. So I'm going to just turn my position so you can see me. And then I lift through Samastitihi. I'm going to step back with my right foot and I'm going to turn and pivot. I'm going to bring my heels in a line. I'm going to lift my hands up. And I'm gonna stand in the same way we tried to lift through the spine, I do it here. And then I'm gonna reach my hand down towards my knee. Perhaps that's it for today. I'm gonna lift that top arm up and I'm gonna to look to my thumb. And take five breaths here. Really press through my feet. I can leave my bottom hand on my shin or on my knee, but I want both of my legs straight. I'll feel a nice stretch in the side of my body here. 
It might take some effort to maintain this. If it's too much, back out a little bit. If it's still too much, back away. It doesn't matter. If it's very easy, you can move your hand down further to the foot. Maybe eventually you'll grab your toe. Again, it does not matter so much on the depth, but rather that we get into the breath. And from here though, I root through my feet and I inhale, I stand up nicely, and I turn and pivot, keeping my breath smooth. But lift through your spine. Again, we're trying to get rid of this position, this typing, this texting. Lift tall through your spine. Press through your feet, work with it. And the exhale takes you down again. Now your left hand towards your knee, the top hand comes up eventually. The hand will be right above the shoulder. Again, eventually the hand could come right down, maybe down to the toe. Maybe eventually you're gonna grab that toe. But at the minute you start, it does not matter so much that you take deep postures, but rather that you breathe. And you start to regularly move. I keep my breath smooth. I look to my thumb tip. And then I inhale, come up. And then I'm gonna turn and square my hips off for a twisted version. But here again, always an opportunity to move away from our computers, move away from our devices, and lift through the spine. From here, I'm going to twist. I'm gonna reach that left hand down, and I'm gonna bring my right hand up. Now, for some of us, this might be it today. We might not wanna go deeper. We wanna try and bring the shoulder back. Maybe I'll lift the hand up. Maybe I'll take the hand down the shin. Maybe one day the hand will go beside the foot and I'll look up and I'll try to find a nice posture here without falling down, but I'll breathe. I'll keep my mind steady. Again, the depth is not necessary. Bring your hand, turn. Maybe don't even lift your hand, but twist the spine. From here, I inhale, I come up. I'm turning, lift through my core, work through this samastitihi. I'm finding samastitihi even as I move. Turn the hips, square them off, lift. The exhale takes me down, I turn. I can just twist the spine as best I can. Open that chest up, shoulders coming back. Maybe I lift my hand up. Now that feels deep, so I'm gonna leave it there. I breathe, I'm twisting. It gets to be very balancey, that's normal, it's okay. You'll have to work with your balance over time. And then I inhale to stand up, and I turn and I pivot. I find this lifted position, and then I step to the front of my mat, and I start again in samastitihi, finding this lifted position, a strong pressure down through the feet, a lift. I'm learning to figure out where is my center. I'm trying to roll my shoulders back, keep my heart open, try to keep my spine long, and I breathe there. Sama stitihi, where I keep this lift. I keep my breath smooth. Now we'll do one more posture standing and then we'll do a few postures on the ground just to balance out the whole practice and then we'll lie down and take a rest. So again, re-establish Samastitihi. I promise we're going to give you that picture of Guruji in this video so you can see how fierce he is when he stands. He stands on his center. It's the example for all of us. And from here, I'm going to step back with my right foot. And I'm going to turn and pivot on my heels, and I'm going to lift through my spine. You see how my spine is long. From here, I'm going to bend that knee. I want my knee to be above my ankle. And I'm going to bring my elbow to that knee for now. And I'm just going to roll my chest open and extend my arm out. And this might be it for the day. And I breathe here. Be mindful to keep the knee above the ankle. And then I want to lunge just a little bit. I want to work into that quadricep. I want to feel some pressure there. From here, 
I take my five breaths. I inhale to stand up. I turn and I pivot. And I exhale down to the second side. Again, my knee above the ankle or maybe the midfoot. The elbow can come to the knee and I can find extension. That might be it for you today. If you're feeling strong and bendy, extend your stance out a little bit. Take the hand down to the ground and do the full posture where you extend and look towards the tip of the, uh, the, tip of the thumb and breathe there. Breath is smooth, it's full. I take five breaths in these postures, but you can take more. If you're feeling fatigued, you can take less. But ideally five to eight breaths. Then I inhale, come up. And then I'm gonna exhale. Step to the front of my mat. Stand tall again, find this position. Breathe nicely. And from here, we're just gonna move ourselves down to the ground. We'll do a few postures on the ground and then we're gonna call it a day and we'll revisit a deeper practice another day. All right, so there, you know what? There needn't be a special jumpy through version to get to the ground. How about this? Slowly come down. Just stretch your legs out. Ah, find a nice spot. But here again, here again, we find this lifted position. So I'm looking to find Samastiti Hi. This, this is starting to mimic this thing we do all day. I text, I type, I read my books, I watch TV. What I want to do is I want to find a lift. Press down now through your legs, through your sit bones. Be strong in your legs. Feel as much lift through the spine as you can. Let your hands lightly come to the ground and then look forward lifting and look to your toes. I'm trying to grow an inch through my spine. Find this breath here. Breathe. And I work and I can stay here for five breaths. Then I'm going to reach forward. Now, some of you are going, I can't touch my toes. So what? Doesn't matter. It doesn't stop you from reaching forward to your thighs, to your knees, to your shins. Take a nice inhale and then exhale, start to round forward. If that's it and it's very difficult, or if you're sitting on the ground and your knees are flexed, that doesn't matter. Just find a little bit of weight forward. Eventually, perhaps, we grab our toes. Eventually, we grab maybe the sides of the feet. But if this is all really difficult to get forward, take your hands back a little and just give yourself just a little adjustment. And then just breathe. Find a way to just start to work into the hamstrings, work into the back and breathe. Take five breaths here. If you want to go deeper, there's always a deeper position. But this is not necessary. And this picture of depth is something from our social media. It's not necessarily from yoga. So I inhale, I sit tall. And now we'll move on and we're going to do a couple more postures. For these, I'm just going to turn my body so you can see them. I pull my right foot back and I bring the foot to the inside of my leg. Again, find that lift. I want to find lift through my core. Watch this tendency. It exists in all of us. Inhale tall. Exhale round. I work my way forward as best I can. Maybe I'll grab my feet, maybe not, but breathe. Keep the breath smooth. Take five breaths here. Nice smooth inhale flowing into the exhale. Smooth inhale flowing into the exhale. And then I switch. I can switch in any manner of way, but just taking a nice change where I pull that left foot in. And again, I'm just gonna switch my position so you can see. Foot comes in to the inside of my leg. I lift and I exhale, start to fold forward. This will work into your hip, it'll work into your leg. Breathe. You can grab here, this is sufficient. You can grab here, this is sufficient. If it's hard even to get forward, just take your fingers back, reach forward a little with your spine. Again, 
doesn't matter. Keep the breath smooth. Keep your intention clean. Keep the sincere desire to work into the spine. The sincere desire to create health in your system. This is what's going to be most important over time. And so then we inhale, we're going to bring that up. And then we're going to exhale, change. Now, there is this thing called vinyasa, but I'm leaving it out. And that's fine. So we'll do one more, a couple more postures. I'm just going to switch sides again so you can see. This time, I'm going to plant my right foot on the ground. You're like, wow, he's really moving through fast, these series. Yes. So my foot is on the ground. Now, some of you might be here. It doesn't matter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and reach down and around. And then eventually, I'm going to move my hand back behind and grab my hands behind my knee. It may or may not happen. This does not matter. What matters is that we're starting to work forward. I can breathe a little bit. I can work a little bit. So I'll move forward. You see it this way. I inhale nicely. I exhale forward. I could maybe bind. I could maybe touch my head to my knee. None of that is so important as working into this front position. And then I do my five breaths. Inhale and exhale smoothly. Work it nicely. Then I switch. And I'll switch sides here straight on. My left foot now is down on the ground. I'm going to reach down forward and I'm going to lift through my spine and then I'm just going to start to work forward. Maybe I can reach down around my shin grabbing my hand behind my back. Maybe not. This isn't again quite as important as the fact that we're actually moving our body. We're moving our spine. We're trying to do some work here. So I can reach down around. Maybe eventually I'll grab and bind my hands behind my back. Not necessary. None of it's necessary. Find your five breaths and breathe. And then from here, I'm just going to stretch both legs straight. Re-establish this lift. Lift tall through your spine. Breathe there. Good. Then we're going to do one more thing, and it's a twist. So I'm going to switch so that you can see. I plant my right foot in the same way. Foot is on the ground. Wow, I'm getting a great sweat here in this tropical country. Lift tall through my spine. Now I'm going to turn and twist, and I'm going to grab a hold of that knee. I'll take this hand back onto the ground. I'm going to inhale tall, but I want to feel a lift out of both my sit bones. From here, I'm just going to turn and look over my opposite shoulder. And I breathe here again for five breaths. Let me give you another angle. Same posture. I'm turned, my hands back. I'm lifting out of both sit bones. Again, I want to find lift through my spine. Yeah? And then I turn and I look. And I'm going to breathe here nicely. As we turn deeper, it gets a little more difficult to breathe. Don't turn so deep that you can't breathe. Just breathe nicely. We're working the spine. Keep the breath smooth. Good. And then I'm going to unwind this. And let me see. I'll just stretch it out here straight. I'm lifted through my spine. This is like coming back to that standing position we did at the beginning. And again, I'm going to switch sides. So I switch. I plant my right foot on the ground. I'm going to move myself forward as best I can. Then I'm going to turn. Find this lift through my spine. And twist. Inhale, I find length. Exhale, I turn and I twist. Inhale, I find length. Exhale, I turn and I twist. Don't twist so deep that it's difficult for you to do the posture. Another angle. I'm in here. I'm lifted. Try my best to lift out of those ever-decreasing old age type postures that were getting so common in our, that are so common now in our society. Look over the other way and I breathe. Inhale, exhale. Good. And then I'm just going to switch myself forward, stretch it out, lift tall. And then I'm just going to do a few little bridges to finish off my class. I'm going to inhale. I'm going to just lower myself down. And then here with my feet on the ground, I'm just going to start to lift my hips up nicely. I'm going to see if I can grab my hands behind my back. And I'm just going to press into my feet and try to get my spine a little more open. I want to press strongly through my feet. 
I want my knees to be working inward. And then I'm just gonna lower down. I keep my back a little arched here, just because that's the movement I'm looking for at the moment. I'm gonna do three of these today. So we'll just press down through the feet, interlace the fingers behind the back, lift, really try to find your breath. And then exhale, come down. It's the inhale that we lift up on, pressing strongly through the feet, knees working towards each other a little, interlacing the fingers if it's possible. If not, it doesn't matter. Hands can stay out. But find an arch in the back. Lift the heart a little more. Five nice long breaths, eight nice long breaths, maybe 10 nice long breaths, feeling the strength in the legs. Then I exhale, I'll come down. Then I'll just lie flat for a minute. And here, this isn't the doll part of the Ashtanga system, but it just feels nice. So let's just add it in there. You're gonna pull your knees up. And Shirachi, forgive me for showing this. But, and then just stretch one leg out. We're just gonna take a nice little twist. And we're gonna let this knee come across, take a little twist in the spine, look over the opposite hand. And then we'll just come back. Pull the knees in, set the other leg down. Take a nice little twist in the spine. I'm gonna reach my arm back. Look over that hand. From here, I'm gonna just slowly work my way back up to sitting. If, you're, if mobility is an issue for you, you can just roll to one side or the other. It doesn't matter so much. Or you could rock up to a comfortable seating position. And then from here, you can just sit nicely in a nice cross leg position. Reach back, grab your hands behind your back, and then exhale, fold forward, rounding your spine down, head eventually towards the ground. If this is easy for you, you could take a half lotus position, you could take a knees down position. Eventually, of course, we do this in a lotus position where we bring the knees in nicely. Eventually, you can bind the hands behind the back, but today we won't do that. Just grab your wrists and exhale, round, fold. Whenever you're attempting lotus, never put strain in your knees, please. Like, there's just no need for it. Just come back to something a little less um, arduous on the joints, and then just fold forward. It's in this posture we take 10 nice long breaths. I won't count them all out for you, you can do them yourself. But after your 10th breath, you're gonna inhale, sit up tall. And one last time, we're really gonna work the spine long. We're gonna really lift tall through the spine. We're gonna look to a spot down here, and we're gonna work with our breath. When you inhale, try to find length. Grow a little taller through the spine. When you exhale, soften your shoulders a little. Let your sit bones settle to the ground but then inhale, find length, exhale, soften. Inhale, find length, exhale, soften some of the effort. Legs, arms could be straight, palms up. This is called Yan Mudra. Again, not necessary. Just lift and find length in the spine, health in the spine, exhale. Last posture, put your hands on the ground, do some work, you're gonna lift up Pretend you're strong, even if you don't feel it. It doesn't matter. Maybe your hands are here. Lift, work, rock forward, a little weight. It doesn't matter. Maybe you can lift off. Again, it doesn't matter. Take 10 more breaths. It's like, whoa, that'll be hard maybe for some of you. It doesn't matter. Just breathe. Then come down. And from here, we're just going to do the best posture in yoga, if you ask me. And that's Shavasana. I'm going to lay back. I'm going to lie down. But I want to talk about just a few things in Shavasana. Oh, we want to release, let go of all tension. One nice way that I've found with our students in the last 10 years has just been to emphasize this breath just to release. So right now, just 
You can put a hand on your belly or you can just let yourself relax. But then I want you to inhale fully. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Fill your belly, fill your lungs, fill your lungs and hold it. Hold your breath in. And then sigh and release. <sighs> Do that again. Inhale. Inhale, inhale, fill your lungs in every direction. Get as big as you can with the breath. Hold it. And sigh and release. <sighs> One last time. Inhale. Big, big breath. Inhale into the belly, into the chest, into the lungs. Fill the lungs as much as you can for today. Hold it. Be still. And release. <sighs> Then just for a few minutes, lie here. Inhale, peace. Exhale, release. Inhale, peace. Exhale, release. When you feel rested, deeply rested, then allow yourself to slowly come out of your Shavasana. Roll over nicely. Come back up to sitting. And get on with your day. So that's it. That's to me a nice rounded practice there's a few other things we could do that eventually over time will help but generally we want to work the spine in a few different directions we want to work flexion we want to work extension we want to work lateral flexion we want to twist and then eventually we want to also get a little compression and that would be with a headstand or a modified headstand but this is something we can look at in another day. I wish you well, all the best, namaste, have a great day, and we'll talk again soon. Cheers.